and we're back with more Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So we're taking Professor Flitwick's challenge of Wingardium Leviosa. And we're collecting beans along the way like we always do. There's some bookshelves here. We can climb up like we learned in Fred and George's tutorial. I'm sorry, but I am going to knock over pretty much every cauldron and every chest that I see because I just want all the beans. So over here we got some switches and you can see a gnome in there already. What are you doing? There, I got him. This will open up the gate. You'll see we have those two boxes there, so it's pretty obvious what we have to do. Oh, another gnome. And he's avoiding my spells. Come here. Got him. Alright, so this is obviously how we get to the next area. Like I said, small puzzles, really simple, but they're a lot of fun, especially with this spell. I love this spell where you get to move the box around. It just snaps into place, actually. There's a challenge star over there, perfect. Now, actually, if you are standing too far away from the object, the Wingardium Leviosa spell will not reach. You can see I can't reach there, so I'm going to have to drop it, walk a little bit closer, and then try again. And you're going to have to do that, actually, a lot when in this, in this game as it goes. Okay. Ooh, we're outside. What a beautiful area. Save. Oh, yes. Oh, I love seeing the castle like this. I'm uh, I'm just a sucker for landscapes like this. Even when they're in old video games like this, and you might not think this is very impressive, back then, I mean, this is just awesome with all the texture detail that they have, or that they had back then, at least. Now, there's a secret over here. Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different area entirely. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I remember there being a secret in an area similar to this. And that opened up the bridge. See if we can make the jump. I always seem to fall there. You'll see a challenge star down there, really far away. We'll be able to get to that over here. Now this is pretty. This pool. If I can... Oh, I can't jump onto it. I thought I could. Well, I know that there's a way to get onto there. Because this is where the secret is that I was saying earlier. And this is just awesome. Look over here and there's absolutely nothing but clouds and a wall. It just looks like you're so high up and you're really not, but... It's still pretty amazing for what it is. So this is the secret and there's a flipendo on the wall. That's gonna move the challenge star up so we can get it. You can see all the sparkles glitching out over there. And there's also a secret mirror. You can climb up these stairs. Well, they're sort of like stairs. And there's another challenge star. This one was hidden pretty well. I mean, I can see how you could miss this. Beans. Oh, and some of the beans fell down. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a wizard card, and it also fell down. We'll get it later. That was strange. So, <laughs> so Harry played his screaming sound effect because he thought he was falling down a pit. But really, he was just collecting the cards. So look at this pool. You can see Harry's actual reflection. You can see the reflection of the bean in the water. Oh, I don't know why. This is so amazing. I just love when video games actually can... Old video games, particularly, can do mirror effects like that. Because mirror effects is actually something a little bit more difficult than you'd think to do. 
So the fact that they managed to do it pretty well is awesome. I have a different video game. What is it? I think it's Lemony Snicket Series of Unfortunate Events. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of that later because that game is really fun. It's a little bit more challenging than games like this. But I remember that the mirror effects in that game are terrible and <laughs> I don't know why. They're just, they're all fuzzy looking and weird and oh, don't jump Harry, you're gonna fall. Let's try to get this challenge star, get back to the platform before it leaves, and then we can head up here. I think we're actually done with this challenge, to tell you the truth. Let's go up here. There we go, we made it. Barely. Is there anything else? Oh! Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. Did I get all the challenge star? You've yes! All the challenge stars. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. I don't even know where he went, because I'm pretty sure Professor Flitwick couldn't make those jumps that I was making earlier. Is this a, is this a secret? No? I guess not. I don't remember what happens if you drop the box on Harry. I don't know if we should find out. Oh, it just goes to the side. It doesn't hit him. I was worried I was going to lose health or something. But I guess not. Wait, where'd the- oh! This opened a secret door. I thought this was the way out. Or rather, I thought that the switch was gonna open this door, but I guess this door just opens up when you walk into it. So... oh! Hedwig! Hello! Thank you. Harry, don't be late for herbology class. I'm waiting at the entrance to the greenhouse. See you there soon. Hermione. Well, thank you for sending us this note. Now, please get off my screen. There we go. What are we at? We're at seven minutes. We're doing okay. Ooh, secret up here. Did you see that mirror? That's awesome. Wonder what's up here. See, I'm so- I, I don't remember. There's so many secrets and hidden passageways in this game. I don't remember every single one, so this is fantastic. See, look at that mirror effect. It's amazing. Why can't I cast this spell? What? Is this really not a secret? Oh, you are lying to me, game. This has to be a secret. Oh, it is, but you can only unlock it from down here. So then you gotta climb all the way back up afterwards. I knew this had to be a s get up there, Harry. Harry. Harry, come on. Harry, what's wrong with you? <laughs> He's not climbing. There we go. That was odd. What's up here? A chest. A wizard card, perhaps? Yes! Oh my goodness. Pick it up, Harry. Harry, please. There. Oh, he's just, he's glitching out. He can't handle it. Harry's really the only character who has, I can't see it right now, but he's the only character who really has depth in his face. Everyone else, their faces are just like stickers. They're like flat, you know, pictures. Uh-oh. Oh, we're actually gonna have to fight Peeves. Have to cast Flopendo on him. He's gonna be throwing, I think, firecrackers at us. Actually, this is not a difficult battle whatsoever, especially when he gets stuck on bookcases. And he's just gonna throw taunts at us, but really, it's not gonna hurt me. And that was it. That was not difficult at all. I don't know why he wanted to attack us. I guess because just he hates first years. I don't see really why. It's not our fault that we're young. Oh, Fred and George. Hey, Harry. Do you have 25 beans for us? We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Yes, I do actually have 25 beans. Nice work, Harry. You found all the beans we needed for now. Here's a wizard card then. Hope you don't have this one yet. <laughs> No, they they won't give you a wizard card that you already have. Now, I was just wondering, I wonder if I can actually see them through the wall, like I could with Nearly Headless Nick. 
Because you can't actually go into the passageways that Fred and George come out of through the game. They're strictly Fred and George passageways only. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, I can't glitch through the wall to see them. That's pretty interesting that you could with Nick and not Fred and George. Let's see if there's a save book up here. Because it's getting to be... Oh, jeez. Hedwig again? Harry, if you're late for a herbology class, Gryffindor can lose house points. Hurry up. I'm coming. I'm just looking for a save book. That's all. I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to go. Neville! Hello, Harry. I'm Neville Longbottom. This is my remember-all. It tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. Oh, it's telling me we have herbology class soon. How do you know that? Oh, I almost forgot. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a moment ago. Alright, so that's Neville Longbottom. Ah, I love Neville. He's just, he's such a fantastic character, especially, you know, as the series progresses. Let's see, there's a mirror here. Let's see what this leads to. Something secretive. It's a secrety secret. Oh, this is difficult to move around in. Oh my gosh, how high does this go? I wonder what's up here. Ooh, a locked door. Even more secrets. Ooh, I'm worried. Hope there's no enemies. Ooh, it's a chest. Oh, I bet there's a wizard card inside. Come on, come on. Yeah! Wizard card and a ton of blueberry-flavored beans. Fantastic. These windows are red. That's interesting. I like the stained glass windows. So let's just jump back down. <laughs> Surprisingly, didn't take fall damage. I don't actually remember if there is fall damage in this game. I highly doubt it. Okay, here's a save book, so it's perfect. I'm going to break this vase first. Get a bean out of it, and there's little moths that fly out, and there's fall to the ground. Dead, I assume. It's very strange. Save. Alright, now I'm going to continue this in the next episode.